I have a million best memories of camp. I got sent there when I was 13 years old, 12 years old, 52, and 13 years old, that was 1953. First of all, I used to come here because camp made me feel safe. I was only two years a camper, then I missed a lot because I was an exercise boy, I was in the horse world. And then I came back in 1957 as a, <clears throat> as a, as a counselor at CIT City. Okay. I met a lot of neat people in, in those days. That summer I had the good fortune of being on some walk trips because they were short guides for the chippy trips, the little kids trips. Yep. Anyways, I got to take out a, I was in charge of Mish Murphy's trip. But that's when I learned that I wanted to be a walk guide. Coochie hired me as a, a guide, and I was 18 years old, and that was the, I was the youngest guide in the history of the camp up until that point. I have an enormous amount of respect for women. I learned everything from women. Like Judy Harrison, one woman in particular saved my life. And Rita. Rita, Rita. And Wendy. Rita. Actually, they all did, you know. I knew Coochie in quite a different way than a lot of uh, the people, you know. She had a wonderful facility for giving me chances. It was quite something. If you were called to Coochie's office, everybody in the camp knew about it in four and a half seconds. But it was, in a way, it was a great privilege to go into Coochie's office. It almost brings me to tears right now. It was a real sign that she loved her staff and would do anything for them. Harry, he, Harry was, he was, a, he was a character, and he always had a project. So he comes to the guides, instructs the head guide to say, "I want to remove all those rocks down to Banchabuka and down to the end of the island, right?" So we were, <laughs> we had lots of laughs about that with picks and shovels as we tried to remove the Precambrian shield. <laughs> 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 oh God. Oh, mighty. But then because he didn't think the guides were busy enough. He didn't want the guides sitting around the camp plotting how they were going to get in trouble that night and not get caught. So for the 24th of May weekend, they stored the dynamite in the infirmary. Totally <laughs> safe place for a bunch of <laughs> enterprising people looking for some entertainment on the 24th of May, right? Yeah. <laughs> We went, to the, we went to the baseball diamond, and there was a huge log there. It must have been lying there since 1922. And it was hollow. How perfect a man named Bomb is us. And we lit the fuse, and it was a huge boom. Nearly killed Stan. Just a shockwave from fright, you know, out of inspected. Absolutely no repercussions. <laughs> what are you talking about, repercussions? I, I quit guiding, but I did come back to take out little kids' trips at the end of the summer in those days, all the chippies. One day I walked in in, in the 70s and uh, asked Tay for a job. I'd really like to teach canoeing, which paradoxically, even though we all were good trippers, that doesn't mean you're a good canoeist. That's why I, I think I paid tribute to Dave Hubbs. That's where I started teaching canoeing with Dave Hubbs, and Dave Hubbs was a really good canoeist and a really good teacher. I taught with Lynn Taylor, who is an incredible canoeist and yep. a really that. good teacher. Those were some of the those were some of the best moments of my life. Teaching canoeing to the master canoeists in the pool after eight o'clock when everybody could get off. Girls were the best canoeists because they can kneel and they don't whine. The guys get to try to kneel in the canoe, and they whine because they're they're not flexible like women are. Yeah. And they just kneel. I was teaching kids how to canoe, you know, and coming away at the end of the day, feeling they learned something. I was very focused in that. I don't look like a focused guy. <laughs> That's a reasonable definition of an oxymoron. <laughs> Stephen Conacher in focus. <laughs> Holy shit, that makes me laugh. And you better start swimming or you'll sink like a stone For the times, they are changing Songwriters and critics, you prophesize with your pen 
And keep your eyes wide, the chance won't come again And don't speak too soon, for the wheels don't spin And there's no telling who that is named Cause the loser now will be later to win For the times, they are a-changing I'm sorry Don't stand in the doorway, don't block up the hall For he who gets hurt will be he who has stopped